Shona Ferguson biography, age, children, wife, television roles and movies. Shona Ferguson biography. Shona Ferguson whose real name is Aaron Ferguson is a South African actor best known for his role as Dr. Lebo on the Van de Sopi Mavhango. He joined the cast of Van de Sopi Mavhango in April 2006 and resigned from the show on March 5, 2007. He later starred as a Tumil and Lodi, the charismatic and powerful protector of his community and heir apparent to the chieftaincy, in the Mnet soap opera The Wild from 2011 to 2013. Shona Ferguson Wife In a February issue of Destiny magazine, Shona remembers the smallest details about meeting Connie Ferguson at her Johannesburg home. He was dropping off mutual friends of her sister Lorato while on a visit to the city from his home in Botswana for a business course. He asked for a glass of water and was about to leave when Connie came out of her room to say hello. Hands down. It was love at first sight. She'd never admit, but that's how it was for me. The couple were married traditionally two months later. Shona Ferguson, age, Shona Ferguson date of birth. Shona Ferguson's date of birth has not been made public. However, his wife Connie Ferguson who was born in Kimberley on 10th of June, 1970, is a couple of years older than him. Shona Ferguson television roles. Generation Season 1 as Ace, Isidingo Season 1 as Tyson, Mavhango Season 1 as Dr. Libua, Rockville Season 1, 2, 3 and 4 as JB Bagetsu, Scandal. Season 1 as Alex, The Queen Season 1 as Jerry Make, The Wild Season 1 and 2 as Atumil and Glaudy. Shona Ferguson Movie. 2010, Mrs. Mandela. 2013, Rockville. 2016, The Queen. Connie and Shona Ferguson reveal their secrets to their lasting marriage. Couples in long-term relationships such as Connie and Shona Ferguson, attribute qualities such as kindness and attentiveness as the reason for their successful marriages. Relationships require hard work and commitment, but it isn't impossible. You too can be part of a long-lasting union by using the following tips. 1. Speak up. Communication seems like a cliché, but we have been conditioned to resolve problems by talking through them that we forget keep communicating even if things are going well. Instead of just talking about how your day went over dinner, broach new topics. 2. Be hands-on. Make a point of being touchy-feely, hug your partner when you leave for work or touch his arm while you're talking. Scientists have found that just a 20 second can stimulate the release of oxytocin so cuddle up. 3. Laugh together. Not only can laughter diffuse tension, but it can also bring people closer together. Bring laughter into your relationship by reminiscing about funny moments or watching a movie you both find entertaining. 4. Have couple time. Don't neglect quality time together just the two of you. Prioritizing your partner over your children is good for your marriage and your kids. A happy marriage, relationship makes happy children. 5. Have sex. Waiting for the mood to strike. Don't. Have sex regularly even if you don't feel like it. Work pressures and the challenges of family life conspire against regular sex but you shouldn't let that stand in your way.